Hi, I'm Dave Ulrich. Today we're talking about two questions. How do you be an effective HR professional? And how do you use HR to drive business effectiveness? We want to answer both questions. As we've talked, we've done research with data from over 20,000 people from exceptional co-sponsor at Michigan, University of Michigan, and regional partners. And we've identified six factors or domains, strategic positioning, look outside, credible activists, connected inside, capability builder, integrate and build organization's capability, change uh, uh, champion, make sure we manage change, technology proponent, and today we're going to talk about HR innovator and integrator. HR professionals have to be innovators and integrators. This is one that's evoked a lot of debate among our team. What does it mean to be a good HR professional? It's not the same as finance or marketing or, or other business functions, IT. There are some unique skills and knowledge in HR we have to know. And when we think about those HR practice areas, there's things we have to understand and master to be successful. And what do we have to know? We have to innovate them. We have to do new things. We can't do talent or compensation in the way we've done it before and we have to integrate those. What we found in our work was the model of integration really has three parts. There's something to do with talent. That gets into workforce planning, managing people. There's something to do with performance. That gets into compensation. It gets into appraisal systems. And there's something to do with work, organization, and communication. That gets into the organization and culture we build. And in the middle is leadership. The heart that we found in this round of our study is that leadership is the place where HR innovation and integration needs to occur the most. Because leadership takes talent and moves it forward. It drives performance and accountability. It drives the work organization and the organization and communication processes. That's the picture of HR integration. HR professionals should focus on talent, performance, work and organization, and leadership. Now, to lay that out, we found there's five things that successful HR professionals need to know and do in that framework. One is we have to ensure today and tomorrow's talent. Do we build talent for the future? Do we focus on what's next? One of the things we discovered with a quick example, I was in a meeting where they were looking at succession. And they were saying, I think successors should be person A, person B, person C. I stopped and I said, what's the business of the future like? What will be the requirements? What's the changing world in which you'll live? Once we define that, then we could rate person A, B, and C against those set of criteria. HR people should do workforce planning, looking at what that talent looks like as we go forward. Second is, we have to develop talent today. We have to do a marvelous job in a global talent management process at delivering training and work experiences. Here we look at the workforce and what's next. Here we look at our skills today and how we move them. That's talent. The next thing we do is we have to be able to drive performance. Performance becomes such a key factor. HR has to be connected to the reward system, the appraisal system, the compensation and culture within the company. In the research we've done before, it's really interesting. When HR professionals fill out our surveys, they take compensation separately from the HR practices. When line managers fill out our surveys, they put compensation with the HR practices. And the line managers are right. Compensation, benefits, appraisal systems, the total reward mechanism has to be connected. It isn't just hiring and training people. They have to be paid in an integrated way. The third one, or the next one we found, is shaping the organization and communication systems. Building work and organization. Do we have the right structure, the roles, the rules, the routines? Do we have great communications? Information, communication is a key. And again, each of these areas has to be integrated around what we call leadership as a brand. This is new in the research in 2012. Traditionally, HR professionals work on talent, developing it, nurturing it, 
reward systems, driving performance, organization communication, what we have now found is that work needs to be both innovative and integrated around leadership. Because unless the leaders in your company model and practice what you're building into your systems, it won't be sustained. Our work at RBL for the last 20 years now has been building leadership as a unique and defined skill set. Our research now says that's a part of the HR innovator and integrator role, and it's a critical part. So you want to be a good HR professional. You got to know and do HR. Those five factors around that picture allow us to both be effective as an HR professional and to use HR to drive business effectiveness. That's what we think HR has to be doing. Thank you.